Do South African women earn nearly a third less than men? We fact check this claim in episode 3 of the Mbokodo series. In 2017, the South African distributor of Korean car maker Hyundai treated that women earn 27% less than men. Because of this disparity, Hyundai South Africa offered a 27,000 rand discount on a new car to 100 South African women. Many social media users, however, questioned the validity of this claim, with some treating that it was a myth and others calling it false information. The car distributor subsequently tweeted that the statistic was a global average from the 2017 Pulse of the People report that is run by market research firm Ipsos. But the figure was not a global estimate, as Hyundai South Africa had previously stated, but rather very much South African, said Mari Harris, who is a director and political analyst at Ipsos. The analysis was conducted between the 23rd of April and the 22nd of May 2017. Ipsos subsequently found that men had an average income of 9,222 rand 16 cents per month, while women earned 6,688 rand 80 cents per month. Harris explained that women earned about 73% of what men earned on average, and it was from this that Ipsos concluded that women earned 27% less than men. How does this compare to similar studies? Statistics South Africa estimated that in 2015, men earned a medium income of 3,500 per month, while women earned 2,700 per month. What is a medium income, you wonder? The medium income is the income amount that divides a population into two equal groups, half having an income above that amount and half having an income below that amount. With this data, it can be concluded that women earned 23% less than men. While these figures may be similar, the disparity in earnings provided by Ipsos and Statistics South Africa is significant. The reason could be the difference between average and medium incomes, according to a professor in the School of Economics at the University of Cape Town, Martin Wittenberg. He said that averages tend to be considerably higher than mediums because higher earners earn so much more than everybody else, meaning just a few individuals raise the average wage appreciably. Many factors go into men and women earning at different levels. One of the factors is that men and women have differing productive characteristics. This is according to Colette Muller, a senior lecturer at the University of KwaZulu-Natal School of Accounting, Economics and Finance, who further explains that men and women typically work in different occupations and industries that are associated with different pay rates and benefits. For example, most South African women dominate the informal sector, domestic work and part-time employment, which are typically associated with low pay. What contributes to income disparity between women and men is discrimination against women when they are underpaid even if they are just as qualified as their male counterparts. While the actual size of the pay gap differs, research does show that there is a notable difference in what women and men take home, which makes Hyundai South Africa's claim mostly correct. 2021 data from Stats SA shows that of those in managerial positions, 66.9% were men compared to the 33.1% of women. Did you find this information surprising? Let us know. Watinta Abafazi Watinta Mbokodo. You strike a woman, you strike a rock. Stay informed. Be an Mbokodo that states facts.